Arigato. Good morning, or whenever time you watch this damn video. Good morning, Jimmy. Uh, Ebisu, here in Japan, we've been here for like two weeks, it's been ridiculous. <laughs> and this weekend is Fall Matsuri. It's a big event that we're here for. It's Fall Festival, Drift Festival. It's two days of drifting with the boys um, from all over the world. Japanese locals, dun dun dun. Former you know. the Drift Pros, Championship Pros, yeah, we've multiple. Been, we've been driving with Chelsea all week, which has been really, really fun. As C36 have been sick. Osbo's here today. Adam LZ is here. Yeah, just Adam. <laughs> <laughs> Today is Sunday. Saturday was yesterday, obviously. Um, but it, I didn't film. I enjoy. I just wanted to enjoy the day. Saturday is a big day, and it was probably one of the funnest days I've ever had. Some carnage happened. I, yeah. It. Yesterday was like gridlock. There were so many cars here. It was. Ebisu was gridlocked. It was the coolest thing I've ever seen. Uh, uh, literally, people all over the world and a lot of locals was cool. But. Before we go in and see the Matsuri Day Sunday, uh, we have to give a little update on my car. <laughs> update, that's a good that's a good word for it, Jim. crazy as it was yesterday, but it's still very early and I think everyone's pretty tired from last night since we were going until 11 o'clock. We started the day off as the other day, getting laps with the boys, having a good time, it helps him with the book in 32, we got that thing running great, blah, blah, blah. And then, my car finally got its first big smash. It finally happened. My quarter finally got pushed in. JZX, every quarter here is pushed in. The quarters are made out of paper mache. They come, they compress so easily, but it finally happened. My buddy got stuck on my door and he never got off, so we never had any room to get out of the way. And uh, boom, smushed in. But we got it looking normal. And at this point, this is when I stopped giving a And well, I did a bunch of this. And it was a blast. And then guess what? As it became nighttime, it started to snow. And that didn't stop me. And I kept doing this over and over again. I probably hit the wall 10 times in a row, tastefully. The last time I hit the wall, it was a little bit more of a, of a bump. So let's go check out my car and see how bad it is. Night. Jimmy turned into a real man. <laughs> Hit the bumper, tastefully, tastefully, tastefully. And then one more time, right? Last lap of the day. Last lap of the day. Boom! That, that was a traffic accident. <laughs> yeah, it's what it's... you can only dream of having, and then it's like, oh, let's just go crash into each other. <laughs> this car's gonna live here and die here. So that's my, how I look at it, too. Might as well get my yeah, money. You paid my... seven grand for your five. Five. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta get those smiles per dollars up, baby. We're yeah, working on it. Uh, bring them up, bring them up. Bring them up, bring them up. <laughs> Let me get this sorted. Let's go to shoot. Good as new, huh? I'm actually kind of proud of myself. That's not too bad. To be fair, I don't know how this thing stayed so clean for so long. And I'm always curious how these cars end up looking like this, especially when you drive with such good people and you're a good driver yourself. But as you guys have seen, stuff just happens. We're all pushing our, our luck, just trying to, to progress and have as much fun as we can. And this happens very fast. And look at that. It is officially an Ebersu car. She's broken in, boys. So uh, the morning's calm. Uh, I'm going to film some cars in the pits because there's some cool stuff here. I wish I filmed a little bit yesterday because it was ridiculous, but one of my favorite things is seeing the locals' cars, right? During the week, we don't see a lot of Japanese drivers, but since it's Matsuri, they're all out. And they have some very interesting styles, some very cool builds, and uh, just a, a different flavor than I think we have, and it's really cool to see, so let's go check out some J6 
Japanese owner to MSU cars. We can start off with the fact that this S14 has a Navin factory front bumper on it, which is now like a $1,400 front bumper in the States. And I mean, this is the reason why. Oh my god, look at this tube like half that he did. I mean, if it works, right? If it works, if it gets you back on track, I'll take it. This is the gnarliest bass bar I've ever seen on the Chaser. They need them though, because literally all it is is exposed frame rails, so your intercooler just takes every single little hit. So the smallest traffic jam just causes these front ends to get smushed. Next trip, I'm definitely getting a bash bar made. Let's talk about the creativity of this one here, right? So first, we have our little intake ram for the filter, and then we have an RB25 intake manifold that's modified to be a forward-facing intake, and it actually looks pretty good. Usually, this is flat right here, and then the throttle body bolts here and it goes over the engine. And it's pretty ugly and it makes things inconvenient because it has to go on this side. Hey, sorry, what? <laughs> With this, it was modified to come out the front and it actually looks really, really cool. So go ahead. <laughs> oh, this car is so cool. Now one, one fun fact that I learned on this trip and I didn't really realize, there's a lot of Brazilians in Japan. I don't know why, but there's a lot of Brazilian Japanese people here and uh, there's so many at the track today and they all got really cool cars and they all got really good energy. Grant, what are you doing? Try, T's trying to grab Luke's drag wing. I got you, T. I got you. Good time off. You really trust him, don't you, T? Why is there so many Brazilians in Japan? Um, so from my understanding, a while ago, uh, Brazil and Japan had some sort of um, agreement where a bunch of Japanese people went to Brazil a bunch of Brazilians came to Japan. I don't, know if it was, program. <laughs> I don't know if it was labor-wise. Yeah, yeah, exactly but it's cool. It, it seems like there's a whole history to it, which I never thought I it's never knew. It's super rad, and it's even crazier to see how many Brazilians speak fluent Japanese. Oh, it's yeah, insane. it's really cool. Because really Brazilian cool. is one of the craziest languages I've yeah, ever heard. Yeah, yeah, no, it's sweet. And they're all they're all gangsters here. Oh yeah, and they all have gangster cars, and they're cooking us food all day long. It's amazing. So, why is there so many Bra why is there so many Brazilians in Japan? Because. We just started a mafia. <laughs> Brazilian mafia, be careful. You can be the next. Dun, dun, dun. <laughs> a bunch of like beer canned F-15s here. And they're always pewter. It's always the pewter ones. I feel like they're bad luck because they're all just so... Look at this thing! I swear we saw this one last time. We definitely did. Yeah, I remember that gouge in the door. Hopefully this guy has better luck with his pewter S-15. This is horrifying. I guess if you tan it with someone, you can get you can get really close transitions because your thing can just be like underneath them. I mean, it seems pretty stable. It's probably a blast to drive. You poor thing. Oh, it's still savable. Maybe you before Matsuri, you after Matsuri. Oh my god, this thing has been through it. Ah, these things used to be worth nothing, so I get it. Oh my god, look at this gang of 8.6s. No one drives Ebisu harder than the guys that show up in 8.6s. Oh my god. So North is getting packed quick. So I'm going to head down to Nishi and see a lot of the other cars that are here. There's a lot of Japanese locals down at Nishi, so I'm actually really excited to see the cars. Oh yeah, okay. See what we have hanging down at Nishi. No corner panel is safe at Ebisu. Oh, but look how beautiful that S15 is. Get it out of here. <laughs> Get it out of here quick. Speaking of cars that are way too nice for Ebisu, how you getting on? I knew you'd be here. I got a fresh engine. Yeah, you do? Yeah, I, I blew it up last event. My car caught on fire. And then Koda, we swapped the engine, painted the car in one week. Y'all crazy. <laughs> Damn. I'll see you out there. Oh, uh, yeah, and then Koda's S15. Oh. Koda, what's up, buddy? How are you? Good, how are you? Good. Suzuki! Oh, boy.
So, if you guys remember Suzuki from our last video, he drifts his McLaren, right? He's in, he's insane. So our buddy Wi-Fi crashed into it yesterday. Yeah, <laughs> That's amazing. <laughs> How do you feel hitting a, a McLaren? Ah, uh, cried? What a legend. Now he's gonna bully me. Oh, yeah. You beat me. Yeah, let's go. <laughs> I got to save you How funny is that? I can't imagine hitting a McLaren with. Ah. No. <laughs> my heart would drop. It my... would. It would. It did, bro. It did. It did. I, I still haven't recovered. <laughs> this is Pie is so funny. Oh, man. Team, team at it again. What the f***, bro? Wi-Fi, what did you do? Nah, man, this, I was in the pits changing tires, bro. <laughs> this ain't me. Why didn't you tell the boy? My heart. <laughs> How are you feeling? I'm fine, like my neck hurts a lot. Okay. Um, Cause I probably hit the wall like 40 k's an hour. To zero. Um, yeah, so, this is my car. Wow, that moved a lot. You, you hit that hard? Yeah, like I bounced off a good two meters off that wall. Oh, shit. Like, even after this, you're still sold on this whole place? 100%. Like, this place, this was one of the best weeks of my life, like, drifting. I love I that. went from never having to end before to running eight car trains and Yeah, you were course. getting on it. Like, and then running north course in sketchy snow. Yeah. Like, where the fuck does that come from? <laughs> I'm happy to hear you're still motivated to keep it going because I know this could be extremely discouraging, but I, I want to see you back here yeah, next month. No, no, I'll definitely be back. Okay. I look over and there's an EV1 Ebisu Marshall car. That's so sick. <laughs> oh, I, oh, it has option. Oh, no way. No freaking way. Option B orange. You see it? <laughs> What are you giggling about? Who's got the balls to do this to their fucking room? They just straight bolted it. There's probably 20 million of them back there. The fitment though. Oh Dude, my. It still does it. Look at that, yeah. man. It's, it's, oh, look at the core. Yeah, you'll get that with 15s. Oh, what a rare car. They already got an Irish lad stealing parts off the thing. Oops. <laughs> and you just get like Daigo Saito hanging out, drifting. Surprised there's still a rear end on the car. <laughs> Twin turbo 300 ZX. Such a wild thing to see here. I like almost forget 300s exist sometimes because you just never see them. Oh, this thing's definitely got a story to it. What's the front look like? Oh, Jesus Christ. It's probably been like that for years too. That's crazy. The IATs on this thing must get ridiculous. No intercooler. Just missing half its power. It's like an off-road R34 sedan. It looks fun to drive, but it got hit. It's so hideous. So I've, I've seen a lot of Japanese people do this, and they told me about it, but I didn't believe them. But they wrap the pit entirely in Saran wrap, and it creates like this little track apartment to keep all the wind out, because I know you can't see it, but the worst part about all this is it's super windy out, which makes it so cold, so. Really good idea. Look at these guys, right? They have a tarp up. They're probably been sleeping in that all weekend. It's genius. A little heater in there and you're good to go. So those poor bricks are hanging on by dear life. Oh, 
so sketchy. All right, Nishi trains, like, they're more chaotic than good. It's fun when they work, but man, is it like, you get like one good lap. this fight that's about to happen. I know, they're about to fight, right? Yeah. That's where I was getting at. Um, one, you get one good lap for every, like, maybe six laps around. They're literally about to fight right now. They're throwing hands. Yeah, they are throwing hands. Oh, I saw he was pissed. Man. But it's really easy for something to happen here because someone did something wrong, right? Yes. Which it's the name of the game, it's bro. The game. If, if, if you put yourself in the situation to be near someone, you gave consent that you're okay with them messing your stuff up, essentially. Here's how I look at in this. The chase. Matsuri is avoidance. It's not drifting. It's avoiding avoidance. dying. That's what it is. Yeah, if you mess up, you're, you put yourself in a bad situation. And it's like, dude, I've hit Kane. Kane's hit me. You've hit me. We've all crashed into each other. It happens. Learn how to spin. Or learn how to eject those seats. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. like, we went down the hill, like, like this clip right here. We went down the hill, and the guy, instead of spinning in and out of the way, he started to back Rolling up for back. a second. Yeah, yeah. And, oh, my God, I thought I was going to die. Spin in and out of the way. Get the heck out of the way. And if you had hit him, it wouldn't have been your fault. Even if you had T-boned him because he was backing up and he should have just got out of the way immediately, right? So Get out. It's like when you're at BMX. Get your butt when you're falling. Get your bike away from you. Yeah. That's the best Throw thing. Throw it away. Throw it away. Yeah, yeah. And drifting, let it go off track. Get out of the way. Matsuri Madness, boys. Matsuri Madness. There is such a fine line from being like, everything's all great, but it only takes that much of a split second to cause six cars like this. This is Matsuri! <laughs> <laughs> Man, look how cool this is. <laughs> Real bullies here. Yes. He's the real bully. He's the real bully. He'll push you in the woods and go and drive by you when you're upside down and go, ha, 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 ha. Mikey. He's my favorite person to drive with, though. He's so aggressive. He actually, I think he just uh, won uh, J2 this J2, year in Japan. Did, did. Yeah. Amazing driver, but he'll laugh when he's pushing you off the track. It's a, it's the best. <laughs> Back to the segment of destroyed S15s at Ebisu Circuit. Oh. JZX rear ends are weak. S15s, the weakest rear ends ever. Like, it is just paper from here back. So, it's real easy to get your car to look like this. This thing looks like a Zanky, it's so squished. This is something I was not anticipating to see at Ebisu. An LS. I don't know what the story is on this, but that is wild to see here. That can't be easy to get parts for here. <laughs> see how a full sicky swap kit on it. Poor thing was just in a wreck. Unfortunately, that's why it's sitting here. Accu sump. Like it's got the goodies on it, dude. Like this is like a Holly EFI intake. I'd assume it's on a full Holly harness and everything. That's cool. Monterey time? I got Goblo's friend with me. She said, don't crash. <laughs> don't crash. No, we'll be fine. No, I said the opposite. <laughs> <laughs> Whew, that was my fault. Sorry, Grant. I'm sorry. There we go. She'll be all right. Don't be bad at me. I had my hand out the window. I was too close to see it. You should have made, like made her do it. She goes, he did not see you. I said, I know. I'm sorry. <laughs> Look how funny this is. It's my <laughs> Suki was chasing us. Yeah. Four car train. Oh yeah, look at that. No, I was, I, uh, was Gobla was leading. Gobla. Jimmy, Grant, and, and Suzuki. And Suzuki. Suzuki and the McLaren. Yeah, he got chopped <laughs> off. Oh my god. That was sick. Those are great laps for how scary the track is right oh, now. Oh yeah, for sure. There's not a single new mark on your car. Oh, perfect. My door got... What did we hit? Wheel to wheel? No, no. My door hit your court, but I think it was so much surface area. Wow. Oh, that's so slow. That's didn't do anything. sick. <laughs> from my car? Yeah, it'll 
buff out. Shit, <laughs> that'll buff. Should be right. There we go. This is your car. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Tell me the story real quick because we have an LS in Japan. All right, so LS in, LS in Japan. I always wanted to build one. So it took me two years to build, put it all together, and uh, ship the engine here. Yep. And finalized everything just last week. And, oh, no uh, way, that fresh or build. Yeah, so it's fresh. This, today's the second day shakedown. Oh, my God. Not the best place to do a shakedown. Bad place for shakedown. But a horrible place, so don't do that. <laughs> and especially on Nishi course. Yeah. And uh, makes 500 horsepower. Jesus. Uh, it's a uh, 6.0, man. Full, full Terminator and everything, bro. Killed that. Yep. American homie here in Japan, builds an LS, killed that. So sick, isn't it? Dude, Dude he drove by yesterday morning. I was like, is that LS? Yeah, they, that's not a fun. Uh, yeah. It's not a 1UZ. It's that not a 1UZ. That's why I said, yeah, I don't use it. He's flexing hard. I'm like, you're flexing. No, my hood, I couldn't get the hood on in time. I'm like, you're flexing. You're allowed to flex. Next year, no, he, he deserves it. Yeah, he yeah. deserves it. Next year, Jordan, Jordan's going to have a turbo M52 in his. <laughs> no, I'm going to retire from drifting. I'm retired. Shut up. He's going to take Chelsea's old engine, put it in the JZX, turbo it, put crack burble tune on it. Hell yeah. This whole place is such a shit show anyway. Like getting parts, you might as well have something that doesn't work. Yeah, because even well. if you have something that works, you, need a you still can't get parts. Six weeks for a JZ, <laughs> 10 years for a tie rod, three months to schedule oil change. 12 weeks to get a fucking spark plugs on. <laughs> Tires take like six months. <laughs> it's not good. Is that true? It's Matt Surrey time. What do you expect? I'm not happy. I'm not happy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It, it, hey! What'd you break? I didn't break anything. We good, baby? Dave just showed up. Leave this car in the pits, Dave. She's still alive. I don't know how you managed to keep this kid on either. I saw you go flying off north a few times. Dave, this car has been in like this all week. Please do not go out there. Don't I do it. I just did it. Don't do it. Don't do it, Dave. Is it 20 back to backs on Toge? And that was like sketchy it's stuff. The most fun. With a full ever. kid. You just hear that. Of all the gravel and the grass. You guys saw on, Dave, on Drift Games channel, if you didn't go watch it, uh, the Drift Games coverage has been amazing on this trip, so please go check out their channel. Uh, Austin will put the link in the description. Uh, the videos have been amazing on this entire trip, so please go watch them. We actually got some pretty good laps in together last night, which was really cool, because even though I hang out with Dave all over the world, we really get to drive together. So. He bought himself this beautiful S14. He's been driving it all week, and somehow it hasn't even gotten a single scratch on it, so. I'll give you a Dave is like you're good at evasion. Yeah. Like, you're incredible. Dave is like the king. The king. Hell yeah. I go Guess where all you do is evade. <laughs> He's going with Suzuki san now. I'm going in the McLaren. There's with a statement. Suzuki san. So 70 deep in a train in a McLaren. Yep. It'd be soon. Can we show off this abomination of a car that you have? I mean, now it kind of looks just normaler. All right. S14, right? Koki. And you see this. What? Four doors for more. Ah, uh, hold it. My God. G35, baby. Don't say that. G35 sedan. Yeah. I don't think any girls are getting in this one. Honestly, you would be surprised. <laughs> it looks cooler when he had the front bumper on, but Lucas, is, Lucas got it in a deal. Um, but whoever put the work in to put this front end on, I give you props. That's something else. A6, BRZ, FRS. I'm really surprised we don't see more of these. I'm really. I'm, I'm curious how much they go for here, but I'm really, really surprised we don't see more of these things drifting here. This is the first one I really saw. Very, very cool. I freaking love these things so much. I'm so jealous uh, of Spoon's car. So, like, it's gonna be so cool when he finishes with it. Now, this is my three. Oil. You keep 
but it really, it's getting wild, I think. It's getting very... It's getting to that time of the day, end of Matsuri, where people just are like, you know, get oh, stupid. Getting stupid. Getting stupid. <laughs> it's chaos out there! That was a proper Matsuri pileup, and of course, it was on the last 15 minutes of the session. That's literally when it always happens. Oh, my rear got smushed in again, which is fine. I'm a little bumped. Both my doors got kind of like destroyed on this side, but they still open, so that's all that matters. Uh, that was rough. I don't know how I got hit so hard in that corner. It's such a slow corner. I felt like I got fucking. I felt like someone just drove straight into me. Luckily, Samit's car um, is fine. Like, it's per I should have recorded it, but Samit's Sam is good. Uh, his wheel, the reason why my doors are so peeled up is because I hit his wheel. So his his wheels just peeled my doors like a tuna can. I'm gonna go check my alignment to make sure nothing got bent in the control arm area. And then the uh, car should be good to go. We got some, we got some kicking to do on that quarter. That poor quarter, like, once they smash in a couple times and smash out, they literally become paper and it's gonna be so flimsy. But that just means it'll take it'll just keep taking hits, so. Uh proper monster pile up. It happened so fast. Alright, this side got the wheel pretty good. So the wheel just like chewed it up. But it was good because it only hit uh Sammy's wheel, so it didn't mess his car up at all. But it like the Jimmy, that's bad. <laughs> I know it's that's bad. bad. You cut the door and like here. Look, the metal's cut Jimmy, in the it door. It looks like my door now. No, your door is definitely not that bad. And it's just the, the weird thing is like how big the door gap is now. The whole door is pushed back. So do not open this thing. You could look at it as you have one fr crash door. Yeah. But you could also look at it like you have three good doors. That's good, yeah. So that's more than I have. Three, like I three. Have two, so it's fine. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> at least it's not the driver door. It sucks when the driver door can't Does open. Does it open? Yeah. Will it close again if I Yeah, open? you'll be good. Oh, that's okay. It still closes better than, you know. And the average has 14, so fuck I didn't you. That's a fair point. Though. Mine yep. still doesn't close that nicely. So this side, poor rear and got messed up again. The quarter kind of got dimpled a bunch. I gotta bang that out so the wheels are hit, but... It's a proper FSU car now. Uh, it's There's nothing to be mad about. Oh, I'm not mad yeah. about it. I'm no, just... I'm just saying, like, the grand scheme of things, it still runs, it still drives, it still drives straight. And watching how hard you drove last night, you're gonna freaking... You're gonna be yeah, yeah, we'll be good. Thing. We'll be good. <laughs> I was working. <laughs> Keep going. Yeah, yeah. Wait, lower again. There you go. Yeah, yeah. Perfect. Wow. You wouldn't even know. Fucking. That's great. Pain will beat our gym. <laughs> <laughs> Almost, oh, almost meant. It actually looks pretty damn good on camera, so I'm proud of myself. But this corner, as you can tell, is still like very low, and that's why all the metal is bunched up. But it's together, it's a car, so I'm happy about that. I can still fit a taillight, and it was just huge. When I can't fit a taillight anymore, that's when it's gonna suck. Um, I'm gonna have to bring freaking B-Hall next time I come here to get this thing straight again, but it's good. I think the, mo the most inconvenient part is the door since the hinges looked like they were pushed back, but it's good, driver door open, so I'm happy, we're good. Car still runs and drives, that's important. I can still go drift for, I, I banged out the wheel arch so it no longer touches the wheel, and I can go drive, like that's all that matters. It's like what making sure they can still drive is the whole freaking point of them. This, you know, making them look cool and like doing all that, that's just a bonus, so um, I'll take it. It is a proper, proper Matsuri car now, right LZ? Right! Proper! I am exhausted. It has been a very long couple weeks, but it's been amazing. Um, it's been a lot of driving. I've learned a lot. Um, very proud of myself. I know I actually didn't 
I, I didn't film a lot of driving. Like I filmed like the first couple days and I basically stopped because I, I realized that more and more GoPro footage just isn't that interesting. I use this as a time to kind of like finalize the year and uh, also train as much as I could while also having as much fun as I could. It was a good day. I'm in Japan with a bunch of my friends driving. Met a bunch of new friends that um, I hope are lifetime friends now, you know what I mean? So for now, we got some packing up to do. I need to get some sleep tonight and uh, I'll see you guys soon. So you know the deal? Like, comment, subscribe. Stay tuned for more content and we'll see you guys very shortly.